Good evening, everyone. I'm Craig. And I'm Mel. And you're with Love and Diz World, and it is another beautiful night here at Disney Springs. And directly behind us is our next dining reservation. We have reservations at Terralinas. Uh, we've never eaten at Terralinas. Uh, we've heard good things. They have some great Italian food, so we can't wait to get inside and give it a try. And we're taking you with. See you inside. We just got seated here at Terralinas and I must say, I am just blown away by the atmosphere of this restaurant. It is beautiful, very rustic Italian, not like a Tuscan Italian, even though the outside has that Tuscan uh, architecture. Inside, there's just different rooms and like we're kind of in like a main dining hall. Directly to my right is almost kind of like an outdoor uh, kitchen area. It's, it's kind of, it's really, really, really cool. It has uh, panoramic views of uh, Saratoga Springs, as well as the paddlefish, which is right next door. And then beyond that is the outdoor seating that I showed earlier. Uh, but this area is just beautiful. Behind me, there's like another area. It kind of reminds me of a wine cellar. It's got a, basically a whole wall on nothing but wines. It's just incredible. And I hope the food is half as good as what the atmosphere is. After placing our drink orders, we were delivered this uh, bread that came with some oil and butter. Can't wait to give this a try as well. All right, Mel, you had a chance to try the uh, bread. What do you think of that? It's very fluffy. Actually, from all the Italian restaurants that we've gone to here on Disney property, I think that's my favorite bread. I don't know what it is about it. It's very just light and airy, crispy on the outside, but soft on the inside. Not a very heavy bread. I tried it with both the butter and the oil, and surprisingly, I agree with you. I like it with the oil better, and normally I am a butter person, but pretty good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree completely uh, on the bread front. I tried the, to use the butter as well, but it didn't spread too easily over the uh, over the bread. So I enjoyed uh, dipping it in the oil. I think it has a good taste to it. Uh, it is a crunchier bread. Almost kind of reminds you of a sourdough. It's not, but um, kind of what it reminds you of. And then uh, dipping it in that oil, it really gives it a good taste. So for an appetizer, we got the mozzarella stuffed rice balls. Uh, it came with a tomato basil sauce. Uh, looks incredible. Uh, $13, you get these three. And I say the camera doesn't really do it justice. They're a lot bigger than what they're coming through on the camera. Ah, uh, there you go. You can definitely see they got some size to them. So it's really not a, a bad price for an appetizer. So I cut open one of the rice balls, and as you can see, the rice along with the uh, plenty of mozzarella in there. Very creamy. You get that good, crispy outside, not too thick on the coating. You get a good mozzarella taste, and it's just creamy with the rice inside. I think the last time we tried an appetizer like this was at Via Napoli. Yep. I do think it is pretty good. There's a good amount of cheese in there. 
which I think when we got the other appetizer, it didn't have as much cheese. I think it was just rice. And it was fried really hard. Yes. And it was a little bit breezier, so I think that might be why this one's better, but it has a lot of good flavor to it. Awesome. Okay, so I tried it, and here's the thing. I'm kind of an anomaly. I don't really care for cheese. <laughs> I know that's right. kind of odd to say, uh, especially since I got chicken parm, but I'm really in particular in how I like my cheese. And for me, this comes down to a consistency thing. It's really kind of creamy on the inside, and that's not my cup of tea. Um, it looks to be a perfectly prepared um, stuffed rice ball, but to me, it's too much cheese that I can't really get around it. For somebody that likes cheese, I think this is absolutely an amazing appetizer and something you will love. For someone that doesn't like cheese, it's not my favorite thing. I think it's because the rice is really soft, right. so you get a little bit of a mushy flavor. To me, that just makes it seem like cheese, and you probably and just cheese. think it's cheese, and yeah. it's not. Yeah, I agree. If the rice was a little harder, um, I think I could get around it, but it's not. So. It's just okay for me. All right, so just to give an update, I was actually able to remove some of the clumps of cheese from inside the bowl, and I liked it better. With that in mind, I do like mozzarella sticks. Um, I just don't know if the cheese and rice combo mix, it was just like mush in my mouth. Once again, if you like cheese, you will love this. If you don't like cheese, it's probably not going to be your favorite thing. And once again, it wasn't bad, it just wasn't my cup of tea. Mel wanted to order it. She did. Mel wanted it. I said, okay, let's go for it. We'll give it a try. You could probably eat more of them anyway. Um, but yeah, she loved it and kind of that's all that matters. If one person likes it, you know, I'm happy. Uh, so yeah. And like I said, she loved it. So obviously it was a great appetizer and one that if you're a cheese lover, definitely get. So here's the chicken parmesan I got. Uh, I must say, looks incredible. That's a large piece of chicken. A very large piece of chicken. I don't know if you can tell perspective with the knife leading up to it, but that is a big piece of chicken. Looks amazing. Mel got the Terralina Alfredo, which is basically chicken with Alfredo. Looks like there's some peas in there. Is that bacon as well? No, it's sun-dried oh. tomatoes, and there's also pancetta. Oh, nice. Looks good. That's another big bowl, too. And last, uh, Connor got the grilled chicken with, uh, looks like mashed potatoes. Yep. All right, so let's give this Terralina Alfredo a try. I like the Alfredo sauce, it's a thick sauce. I'm kind of a snob sometimes, and I know it's some of the other uh, pasta dishes that we've reviewed, I didn't have a lot of sauce, and this is just coated in sauce. Yeah, I can see it. And that is just what takes it over the top, it's delicious. The chicken is really good, it has peas, pancetta. The pancetta is a little salty for me. I don't know that I've ever had pancetta before, um, but it does give it another flavor. Um, the peeps are good, but overall, I think this is one of the best pasta dishes that I've had here on property. And I think the last time I got Alfredo was at Tony's. Right. The sauce was delicious, but nothing else really had flavor in the dish. This is really good. Everything has good flavor, and it's really, really good. I am so happy to get the chicken parm. Normally, that's my go-to dish when we go Italian, but this is delicious. So once again, I got the chicken parmesan with the spaghetti. Um, as you can see, it was a huge piece of chicken. This chicken parm is pretty phenomenal. I mean, it's done perfectly. It's a nice crisp coating, nice amount of sauce on the chicken parmesan. Not overly like done with the cheese. It's a really good chicken parm. Now I had a really good one at Tutu Italia, if you watched our, uh, our review for that. We'll put the link to that one at the end of this video. That was amazing chicken parmesan. 
This is as good, if not better, than what I had at Tutu Italia. The only part that doesn't quite live up to Tutu Italia was the spaghetti. It's a little dry, it doesn't have enough sauce. It's good, but if it had a little bit more sauce, it would put it over the edge. Overall though, I'm really happy with this dish. It's really, really good. And I'm, I'm just ecstatic to have good chicken parm again. So, your plate is missing the chicken. What happened? I ate it. And what did you think of it? Good. So, for dessert, we decided to get the double chocolate cake, which has a caramel sauce, toffee crunch, and came with some fresh berries. Wow, that looks decadent. So, we got the double chocolate cake as a toffee crunch, caramel sauce. What you'll notice in the pictures of the cake is there is a lot of toffee crunch on there. A lot. It is very good. I will say the cake itself is a tad bit dry, but that's where this caramel sauce comes into play. If you kind of dip it in the caramel sauce, oh man, that puts it over the edge. And this toffee crunch is delicious. All together, the flavors work perfectly. And this is a great dessert, but it's thick enough and decadent enough and rich enough to this be a dessert to share. I don't think I'd want to tackle this by myself. Could I do it? Probably. Would I like to do it? Maybe. But I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna share. But it is good. Maybe I won't share. <laughs> chocolate layer on the outside. I'm not sure. It's kind of like the consistency of like a thick icing. So that helps. And the caramel sauce, um, that also helps. So it doesn't really, the whole bite's not dry. But if you eat the cake itself, it's kind of plain. So you definitely want to get everything into one bite. And the toffee crunch is really, really good. I will say one of the things that um, I don't enjoy about the toffee crunch at other restaurants is sometimes it can be really hard pieces. Okay, um, this wasn't. It was a, a softer piece, so you get the crunch in there, which is nice, but you don't have to worry about chipping your tooth on a hard piece of toffee. But overall, I think it was a very tasty dessert. I like it. I don't like it too much. No. Really? Okay, that's enough. That's it, I'm going to sprinkle. <laughs> so, we just wrapped up our meal at Terralina Crafted Italian, and wow. It was good. Absolutely amazing meal again here at Disney Springs, and Terralina did not disappoint. I heard some good things about their Italian food, and they really lived up to a par for me. Uh, we started off with the stuffed mozzarella uh, rice balls. What did you think of that? I really liked them. I thought the breading was really light. Um, it had a good mozzarella flavor inside, and the rice was nice and soft. I did like the tomato and basil sauce. I think that's what really set it apart. I thought the appetizer itself just had a really good flavor to it. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't a big fan of it because because I thought the consistency was a little weird, and that's not my cup of tea to begin with, but I know you wanted it, so we gave it a try. You liked it. It was just eh for me. But as long as you liked it, that's all that matters. It was good. Uh, for an entree, I had the chicken parmesan. And I don't know if you followed a lot of our videos, but I usually get chicken parmesan when we go to these different places. And this was right up there with the best chicken parmesan I've had on property. The only slight negative to me was um, the spaghetti uh, that came with it. It was a little dry. It didn't have much sauce. The noodles themselves had a great taste to them. They were cooked perfectly. It just could have used more spaghetti sauce for my, or marinara sauce for my liking. And I think that's a personal preference because I think some people don't really like sauce. Right. We just love sauce. So right. it was very light, I will agree, um, light on the sauce for your pasta. Right, and what did you think of your entree? I really liked it. Uh, mine had a lot of sauce and I love Alfredo sauce. So I got the Terralina Alfredo. Um, the chicken was good. 
food in there. There was pancetta. I only ate some of the pancetta. It was a little salty for me, but um, again, it's the first time I've had that. Um, I had peas in there and sun-dried tomatoes. I thought overall it was really flavorful and probably the best fully flavored pasta dish that I've had. So I was very happy with it. Yeah, and then uh, we ended things off with that double chocolate uh, cake that had the toffee crunch and the caramel sauce. And it was good. It was not the best chocolate cake we've had on property, but it was definitely well above average. Yeah. That toffee crunch was incredible. Caramel sauce really put the cake over the edge because as I stated when we were eating it, the cake itself was a little dry, but with the caramel sauce and the toffee crunch and the kind of fudge layer that was in between, um, it just really worked and it was a really good dessert. It was a little heavy though. So if you, like our dishes were really large, I thought, and it was a good amount of food for the, the price that you pay. So just make sure that you are ready to share that dessert if you go for the chocolate cake. If you really want to share it. <laughs> I mean, I said I'd share it in the end. I don't know if I really did want to share it. He did it. eat more of it than I did. Well, of course I did because I, I didn't want to share it. But anyway, we hope that you enjoyed today's video and you found it informative. If you did, yeah. what, you have something to say? One thing. What? what? You know, we were talking about this at the table before you end the video. Yes. We feel that Terralina is, is very underrated. So yes, exactly. Yeah, that is a good point. That is a great point. You know, we search for reservations all the time and preparing for our trips and there's always reservations available mm -hmm. and pretty much any time that you want, every 15 minutes, which actually kind of scared us away from Terralina's for a very long time because we thought there's all these reservations available, maybe it's not so good. And it was delicious. So don't let that scare you, but we do feel it's underrated. It is very, very good. That is a really good point. We did have a conversation on this and I kind of can't, I know there's a lot of dining options here mm -hmm. at Disney Springs, but I think Terralina should be doing a much larger business than what they are doing. That place should be packed and it's full. It's definitely much fuller now than when we first got in. But honestly, like with how good that food is, they should be just knocking out of the park every night. Now. I'm good now. You're good? <laughs> okay. So yes, we hope you found this to be informative. If you did, please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button. We'd really appreciate that. And as always, be on the lookout for new content and join us next time when we'll show you why we are loving this world. Have a great night, everyone.